Hello and welcome back. For this video, we'll be creating our AWS user account and getting our IAM credentials. First things first, we'll head to the AWS console. We can just Google AWS console and head to the first link we see. Then we'll sign in. My case I already have a Gmail account, so I'm going to use that. After that, we'll see a list of AWS services. The one we're looking for is IAM, which is under Security, Identity, and Compliance. Let's scroll down and go look for it. We can see it right here, and we're going to select that. After that, we'll select the Users section underneath the Access Management part, as we're going to be creating a new user. Let's click on Add User, and let's give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call mine WebAny Test. And we have to make sure that we select this box, Programmatic Access, because we're going to need this access key ID and secret access key. Let's click on Permissions. We should click on Attach Existing Policies and select Administrator Access under the Policies table. After that, we'll navigate to Tags. For us, we don't really need any tags, so we'll skip ahead to Review. Let's make sure everything checks out. We have a programmatic access, permissions. All right, everything looks good. Let's create our user. Now we see our access key ID, which we can just copy to our clipboard and we're gonna have to take this over to our console to copy it over. Let's open up our terminal and let's head to AWS credentials. So on your system it might be a little bit different, but this is the default one for mine. So you'll see that in this file there's two parameters already there. AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. We'll copy our ID there and we're going to grab the secret key from here, copy that to our clipboard, paste that in. I'm going to make sure to save. One important thing to note is if you navigate away from this page, you won't be able to see the credentials again. So make sure you copy this somewhere safe. That way you can copy it over or right. The other thing is that you, your file may not actually have these variables declared yet. So make sure that you can pause the video here and type in the following names. But once we save, sweet. Uh, now we've successfully set up our AWS user account and IAM credentials. In our next video, we'll show you how to set up your MongoDB Atlas to get your connection string.